this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are all on this crazy journey back to our twins. And so this is for people that are in a soul to soul, twin flame connection. And so it, today is the 22nd of October and today's mantra is every cell of my body is vibrating in pure ecstasy, drawing you in. And so when I saw that this was today's mantra, this is Divine Love Mantra books that I do, basically 60 mantras to raise your vibe <clears throat> in the, basically to put your vibration in the, in the right frequency to call in your twin. And um, when I looked at the, when I saw today, it was all about the body again. I was like, oh yeah, because there's been this huge sexual kind of energy, really wanting to bring in the physical um, relationship. And so when I saw that it was this, I was like, yeah, that is totally perfect. So the, the mantra is, every cell of my body is vibrating in pure ecstasy, drawing you in. So I am going to share a couple of channeled letters. So I do tap into the energy of your twins, higher self, and get messages that help you and also do healings and readings. But there are a couple of uh, letters that I'm going to share today and I'm going to share somebody's email that they've sent. So firstly, this is a letter from her twin to her. So do you have any idea how long I've been wanting, dying to tell you how much I love you? How many true feelings for you are so powerful that it stops me in my tracks? I don't even know how I'd be able to put it into words. I love you, just doesn't seem enough. You've changed my life. You've added so much value and worth to who I am. I can see the world in a new light. I can see a purpose to my being here. After years of feeling useless, aim aimlessly surviving through life, you gave me a reason to view life in a different way. You have made me get excited about the future and plan for a future together. I just need to get up the nerve to tell you how I really feel. You are my world. You are the love of my life. You are the only one that lives and breathes the breath of life into my heart. I love you. Okay, well, what I really like about that letter <clears throat> is that um, it's about saying that you gave me the breath of life into my heart and before I didn't realize but I was just surviving through life aimlessly kind of like just going through life not really feeling connected to anything and that's so much about what this journey is is you know it's about realizing that we are all connected and that's an incredible thing and of course, waking up to true love is exactly, exactly that. So I'm going to read um, another one. And this is from her twin's higher self to her. So I love you. I love you. I love you. I have been in love with you in the most romantic and smitten way. Just like a schoolboy. I've had the most massive crush on you since the minute I set eyes on you. No mistake. My heart skipped a beat. My soul was doing backflips inside of me. You have turned everything upside down. Nothing has been the same since. It's been really hard too because I've had to overcome so much anxiety about our future. I was frightened of going in full plunge, diving in too deep, because I was afraid I was going to drown in the overwhelming feelings that you brought up in me that our love, this intense, passionate feelings have brought up in me. I know that I want you to be my person forever. I love you. Okay, so that intense feeling of like not wanting to take full plunge and holding back um, because, you know, the, the fear of, you know, if I get, dive in too deep, then I'll, I won't survive. Which is such a common theme as well about really giving in to you know your your heart and that takes massive courage so i'm just going to read her email because she came back and said i'd love you for to read it so thanks so much for the letter from my twin yes it's true 
Nothing has been the same since we reunited here in the physical. Highs and lows, as you know, I wouldn't change anything about us. Every moment brings a greater awareness and understanding of what unconditional love is and of what our love is. I can't describe it. I just know it's real and true. And when I go within, I feel us even more. Your channeled letter confirmed it even more. I know my twin loves me unconditionally, though it's not always easy to express it in the physical. But that's okay right now. We're loving our journey and I believe in divine timing and the highest good of all. It's okay if you share my letter or response. And I would just like to say I've been listening to you for a while now, maybe a couple of years even before I remembered as much of my truth as I do now. I used to wonder how your readings resonated so much with what I was feeling and the synchronicities too. Wow, so many lately and more and more every day. I love listening to your readings and seeing the syncs. Thank you so much. Yes, it's not easy being a twin flame, but it's great having the support and the knowledge and confirmation that I really am on a journey of unconditional love with my beloved in the physical. <laughs> so how gorgeous is that? Because that's what I find so amazing, which I just love, is all the synchronicities and everything that happens after people come to healing or read or listen to the videos, right? Because it's just a way of opening the door if you've been struggling getting messages. It's a brilliant way to open that door again to get sync after sync after sync. So, the song today is by Vance Joy, and it's a song called Emmy Lou. And um, it's a really special song. It came through yesterday, and I'll put it into the description box again. Um, if you go into, uh, as I always say, if you're guided to watch a film or a song, always check it out on YouTube, go to the comments, and I guarantee there'll be another message from your twin within the comments. And you'll see probably it's stamped with the 22, which is the Star of David. And it's a 22 day today as well, which is a master number, which is all about the Star of David is the divine union, divine feminine, divine masculine in the six pointed star. So it's a really important thing to just keep wishing upon those stars, you know, pick out a star in the sky, name that as your reunion star. And then every night keep wishing because Dreams really do come true. And this is the, so the mantra is, every cell of my body is vibrating in pure ecstasy, drawing you in. All right, so listen, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that's coming to me for healings, readings, and also channeled letters. Um, and thank you for everyone that's, you know, recommending me to other people as well, because... It's such an amazing thing to be able to do it for people. So I really am so grateful. All right. I hope that helps. Take care and have a great day. And check out the song Amy Lou, Emmy Lou by Vance Joy. I'll put it in the description box. All right. Take care. Bye.